Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here with yet another cigar box guitar. Actually, this is a diddly bow, two strings. This is an A string and a D string. So on the top here we have an A, and right below that is a D string. You can put all sorts of different styles of, or all sorts of different strings on here. You don't have to have an A or D. Lots of people do an E or an A, or you can do a D or a G. Or you can do an A and a B and a C and a D and a G and a F sharp and a C sharp and a D, whatever. Just lots of different ways to do it. This is a single coil pickup embedded in the box and that is to preserve the cool artwork on the front. One volume control as I put in all my Blues Boy Jag CBGs and these are attached to the guitar by being wrapped around these bolts on the end. Bolt for a bridge, bolt for a nut, actually two screws. So the strings go over those screws. Loose Boy Jag logo, signed and numbered, fret markers on the top, and fret markers on the front. So I have this coming through a 1948 Supro amp right now. It, it's going to buzz a little bit until I start playing. That's just because of the amp, not because of the guitar. <laughs> This is this is actually a uh, wrench to uh, take off a spark plug, I believe. Spark plug wrench. Uh, it's a 11 16th because it fits my finger. Actually, I guess that's not a spark plug wrench. It's just a regular old wrench wrench. But it's heavy. And you'll get better sustain with the heavier slides. If you use a glass slide on this, You'd have to probably have to have a distortion pedal to get some good sustain out of it, uh, because it's the heavy strings. It's not the we're not talking about the third string and the second and the first of a guitar set. This is the A and the D. So uh, I would recommend a heavy like a brass or a heavy metal. Uh, this is a brass slide right here, and these are pretty cheap, eight or ten bucks at the music store. And what I do is I take a Dremel tool and I beat the hell out of it and, and grind. Uh, grind it so you have a rough surface and I need to grind that one again looks like because I've been using it for a while but that'll really give you some killer sustain where you can just hang on that note I mean just grind it out as long as you want <laughs> What the heck can you do with a two-string? Well, basically, this is tuned just like a three-string, but it's minus the top string. Well, the top string normally is tuned the same as the big string on this guitar. Now, there's a billion, kajillion, trillion times a billion ways to tune a any guitar, uh, especially a cigar box guitar. Most people tune it A E A or G D G. There's other ways to tune it, a billion other ways to tune it. But having said that, if you have a three string, normally it would be a low string would be G, and then the middle string would be a D, and then the next one would be another G. You could also have an A and a D string tuned up to an E and another A. So in other words, the top string normally for most people Again, you can do it however you want to do it, but most people have the octave string on the first, so it's the same note as the low string. Now, this one I have tuned in fifths, which means this is A D. This is not A E A. This is A D. Or this is not A E if it was a two string. Anyway, most people do A E A. This is A D on this two stringer. Well, people say, why do you do that? Well, I can do it that way too. I can I can tune up this D string to an E if I want to. It's easier 
to play a lot of the uh, slide type songs though if you tune this in fifths A to D. Again, 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 again. There is a trillion different ways to tune it. Do whatever the heck you want. I mean, make up your own tuning. Just tons and tons of fun. Once again, thanks for watching and thanks for your kind support.